No, well, I, I got, got a, a message, message for all you liberals out there. there. You, you want, want my gun, gun my, my firearm? Come, come take it from, from me. me. You, you want, want my gun? gun? Come kiss, kiss me for it. <laughs> Hello and welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be talking about a game from 2004 known as Liberal Crime Squad. This game is created by Bay12 and if that sounds familiar, it's because this game is made by the same guys that made Dwarf Fortress. The aim of the game is to change all of the policies and laws in the city from conservative to liberal and it's down to you to decide how you want to do that. Do you want to go postal and arm a bunch of prostitutes with AKs and turn them into an unbeatable hit squad that targets people of high status with skills so high they can literally break down to dodge bullets? Maybe you just want a group that's great at persuasion in hopes you can trade your guns for words and just sort of enlighten the conservatives of a brighter side of being a liberal. The game mechanics are as unpredictable as your local crackhead that's been having fluent conversations with his reflection in Japanese for 20 minutes straight. You'll find yourself engaging in intense debates with unsuspecting NPCs while slowly recruiting and kitting out your squads, choosing everything from their weapons to clothing and armor, making them into the perfect person to help with your cause. As time goes on and your agenda starts to pick up, you will know if you're not the only crime squad around. A conservative crime squad will form with the sole intent of hunting down your guys, killing civilians, basically just causing a lot of problems, raiding your fronts and properties, and just like you, if they're left unprovoked, they will build up weapons, armor, more skills, and they become very annoying and very deadly. The combat in the game is very simple and it is still text based. I like to compare it to Pokemon, but it's not turn based the same way Pokemon is with their combat. It's more the idea of you press a button, your character does an action whether it's attacking or trying to run, and it will just loop around with all characters that are currently in combat until everyone who is an enemy or your guys are completely dead. If you want to make your guys better at combat, you can always give them better weapons and armor, but there is another way which is my personal favorite which is just brute forcing leveling them up, as this game functions kind of like a roguelike in the way you can upgrade your character's skills by just repeatedly doing something. If you want someone who's good at escaping the police, then get their agility up and get different skills that mean they can dodge better and so forth. And the same goes for all your other skills, which means you can make some very, very funny builds for characters. You can get a grandma that's just the buffest person you've ever seen in the world through leveling. You can get her to the point where she can punch someone once in the face, boom, half their body's missing. <laughs> she may look like she's about to collapse on the floor, single gust of wind could give her a heart attack, but you come near her, she will fuck you up. <coughs> Overall, I mean, it's a free game, and to say it won't cost you a penny, and it takes less than 5 minutes to download and set up, there's really no excuse not to try it. I will be giving this game an 8 out of 10, and that's coming from someone who really prefers much more visually pleasing games, purely just for the fact it's that much fun. Yeah, it's not something I can see myself playing for hundreds of hours, but it's such a good time waster game. You get really invested into it, it has so much replayability before stuff sort of starts to get a bit stale. If you like the video, please give the video a like and maybe subscribe. I've been away for a very long time, as you can see by the new setup and stuff, but hopefully these awful videos are gonna start flowing out of my channel again, unfortunately. So, um, <laughs> I'm very sorry to my viewers, but these videos are gonna start reappearing again on my channel. As always, just like this review, I've been just useless, and I'll hopefully see you next time. Maybe.